where necessary it will be the protector of india's commerce and industry my government's relationship with industry will be based on trust not marred by mistrust i come from a political tradition that does not look upon commerce and industry with suspicion when it was conventional political expediency to decry entrepreneurship we championed their cause as a government we will do more as a concrete proof of this approach we will soon appoint a commission to comprehensively review in a short time frame all the administrative laws rules and regulations governing industry and trade such of them which have outlived their utility will be either totally scrapped or radically simplified with this move we aim to enable indian entrepreneurs small medium or big to create more wealth for themselves and the nation the companies act will be drastically overhauled the foreign exchange regulation act will be replaced with a legislation consistent with the current needs we will ensure that crucial government orders are not passed without first ascertaining their consequences on domestic industry many of the problems faced by industry are at the state and local levels as such now infrastructure development is the very backbone of any strategy aimed at achieving higher growth and large scale employment generation however an unfortunate impression gained ground after the first phase of liberalization that the government will have less and less to do with infrastructure development as a result a slow down has taken place in investments in this vital area of the economy my government will substantially increase investments in infrastructure development simultaneously private sector investments will receive far greater policy and implementation support the minister for power has just recently announced wide ranging initiatives on the power front my government will take firm decisions and also support firm decisions of state governments to bring financial viability to the power sector the state electricity board are bankrupt and need restructuring the drain on internally raised resources has to stop in this regard the country should take note of the bold but painful steps the andhra pradesh chief minister has taken to guard and raise the viability of power generation and distribution in his state we also support in this regard the initiatives of the orissa government delays in implementation have been the bane of infrastructure projects in india they have led to not only cost and time overruns but also loss of opportunities in downstream income and employment generation this neglect and waste will be positively addressed towards this end the prime minister's office will directly monitor all projects capitalized at more than rupees 100 crore each in the areas of power roads bridges and dams irrigation telecommunication oil and energy railways ports and airports my office will seek a monthly progress report on all such projects and ensure that they are completed and commissioned on due dates agriculture is the very heart of our economy and culture stop